Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. This brush is a little different than the others we've created so far, but it's sure to be a favorite of yours, the Torn Paper Brush. It's a brush that gives you a torn edge paper effect when applied to images, color, or even text. I'll teach you how to create three different variations using three different Procreate tools. Then I'll show you how to use the brush to achieve the most realistic tear effects. So, let's get started and make this brush. First brush uses built-in Procreate shapes and textures, so let's start with an open canvas. Choose a brush library, and tap on the plus sign to make a new brush. In stroke path, set stroke property spacing to 5%. In shape, tap on edit beside shape source, tap import, and choose source library. From the selections, choose blotch 1. Tap done twice to save selection. In grain, go to the grain source library, and from the selections, choose sketch paper. Before exiting, tap on the canvas with two fingers to invert the grain, then tap done. Under grain behavior, set scale to 60%. Down here, set brightness to negative 75% and contrast to 15%. In rendering, set rendering mode to intense blending. In dynamics, set jitter size to 70%. In Apple Pencil, set pressure opacity to none. Finally, in properties, under brush behavior, set maximum size to 250%. Now we have our torn paper brush. Here's how to achieve the effect. On your layer, image, or rasterized text, you can use either the brush as an eraser and just go to town on the parts you want the effect to show. Or, as an undestructive option, tap on the layer you want to tear and choose Mask. This automatically creates a masking layer that you can draw on with either pure black to erase or pure white to reveal back. Here's another shape option you can try. Create a square canvas with the background color set to pure black. Drawing with pure white. Let's use our monoline brush and draw a warbly square like this. Center your shape, then tap on the Adjustments button, and at the bottom of the selection, choose Liquify. From the options, let's choose Crystals. The size determines the area of your brush, therefore the area the effect affects. Pressure is how strong the effect appears. Distortion is how much of the effect is placed. And momentum is how fast the effect moves across the area. I like to put the pressure at max and momentum at 50%, then play around with the distortion and size as I see fit. With all these settings dialed in, let's draw on the edge of the shape until you see the edges go from smooth to rough. When you're done, just tap on the Adjustments tool twice to exit. If you're happy with your shape, copy the canvas by swiping down with three fingers and choosing Copy All. Tap on the brush icon, duplicate the brush we just created, go into the brush settings, and in Shape, tap on Edit, Import, and Paste. In Grain, feel free to go into the grain source library and choose a different paper texture of your choosing. Then, under grain behavior, set scale to your preferred value. Likewise with the brightness and contrast numbers. Then, in dynamics, 
set jitter size to a lower or higher value for your preferred edge effect. Now let's create an extra fibrous torn paper shape. Using the same canvas, draw with the monoline brush at a small brush size. Let's create an isosceles type triangle. I don't know exactly geometry terms, so let's just call it that. Fill in the shape and center it. Tap on the Adjustments tool and select Liquify. Select Push, and with the size at a low value, Pressure and Distortion at max, and Momentum at 50%, let's start pulling out fibers from the edges of our shape. Then, tap on Crystals and start drawing on the edges to roughen them up. Feel free to go back and forth between these two options until you get the shape you want. Copy the canvas. Duplicate the brush. Go to Shape and paste your new shape. Once again, feel free to adjust the grain behavior and Dynamics Jitter settings until you get something you like. Now, to make your tears look extra realistic, let's create a new layer, drag it beneath your torn layer, and with pure white, draw outside the edge of the tear with the same brush you masked your image with. Fill in the shape, duplicate it, tap on the duplicate layer, choose Invert, and with the Move tool, Offset the layer by tapping outside the selection in the direction you want to create a slight drop shadow. And there you go, a cool new way to add dimension to your artwork or images. Hope you enjoy creating fun illustrations with this brush because I sure as heck enjoyed sharing this technique with you. Thank you all so much for all the support. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel, and I will see you for the next brush. Bye!